John Sarian is asking about the upcoming junior day and if you guys know of any particular players, especially at wide receiver, that are showing up for that. We're gonna have to get a. I need to get. I need to get Dustin or we need to get a recruiting guy on here because my expertise is not in the recruiting names because right now this is the point of year where I'm starting to learn those names and about four months from now I'm gonna have a list of names and I'm gonna maybe remember at least. And then in six months from there, I'm going to know every name. But this at this point in time, and on February 8th, uh, uh, there's a lot of names. But Florida State did a good job last year. Got to go to a few of them. Um, I, I would, I don't know if this would be – I guess that wouldn't be necessarily junior day. But um, I know – I guess it would be junior day with Camden and uh, – Camden Fryer. And then you've got, I'm sure – uh, Croman Hawk would be coming over to throw, but um, I'm, I'm, if I can just talk about a wide receiver that Florida State has currently committed legacy guy here with Camden Fryer, extremely talented uh, Florida state is going to do a good job. I think of, of holding on to him. You know, a lot of schools across the country have offered, including Alabama and Nick Saban, uh, just your, just your, just skilled guy that likes to go up for the ball and come down with it. And he performed very well. He went against a lot of the 2023 current uh, signees that are on campus right now that were competing against him. Uh, Florida state held that camp and had a lot of talent there, but Camden Fryer came away with that one looking really good. Him and uh, uh, Vendravius Jacobs, who's a year ahead of him. He's currently on Florida state's campus right now uh, going through tour of duty and going through his first semester of school, uh, Camden Fryer and uh, Vandravius really stood out during that, but I I can't tell you guys enough. Once you get to see him in person, he's also put on a little bit of size too. But those two work together also, I believe, in seven on seven. So uh, they're already building that chemistry, and you know we're a year behind, but a year ahead is going to be fun to watch those guys continue to build because I think that's what Mike Norvell Mike Norvell looked way ahead, early ahead. I mean, if you look at Croman Hoke, who's Florida State's 2024 quarterback commit, and that really, like you were talking about earlier, Chris, and that big 2024 class that Florida State's done a really good job in, uh, that, that's your future at quarterback. You know, I think before it, it was Altmeyer a couple of years ago. You know, that didn't end up working, but I think right now uh, this is Croman Hoke, and it never was going to be, you know, uh, Tate Rodemaker. It wasn't going to be. Um, um, uh, Chuba Purdy, you know, those, those two guys were trying to get them in while you can, you got to build depth and you got to have quarterbacks in that room. Those weren't your future. And, uh, you know, Luke Cromenhoek is that, and, you know, the kid didn't even start a game until this last year and took him to state. So really, really impressive and evaluations from Florida state staff, Mike Norvell and what they've been able to do, including coach Tokars. Yeah. Um, and then what, what I will say is about as far as wide receivers go uh, for the, Junior day they'll possibly be coming in. Um, the biggest name that I think you keep you keep paying attention to that Florida State hasn't officially locked down uh, that I think Florida State's pushing extremely hard for. I think Coach Dugans is doing a really good job. Um, is someone like JoJo Traeger? Uh, you, you keep your eyes on him. Um, he's visited a few times. You want to keep you know keep that pressure there. What I mean by pressure is communication. Make sure that you communicate with him the same way that you did with Hakeem Williams for the 2023 class. And I think that uh, Coach Dugans is doing a phenomenal job at speaking to the 2024 class personally. Um, I also think that uh, Mike Norvell is doing a particularly very well job in, in the same uh, scenario because it seems like wide receivers, you know, a lot of people are worried about wide receivers because of what we brought in through the transfer portal. And when those guys decide to leave, what do we have left? Um, but just like what Logan just said, Vendrevius is going to end up being a really a really special piece at Florida State, along with Hakeem Williams. Um, and there's quite a few other guys that, you know, will be stepping up uh, that maybe we don't know their name yet as fans because we haven't seen them. Um, and maybe they weren't that five-star recruit. Uh, but you remember that we got T.J. Abrams, the wide receiver that committed uh, verbally to Florida State for the 2024 class. Um, he's a very special piece, and Florida State's doing a really good job at continuing to to make him feel like he's part of the class um, and make sure that he knows that he's got a spot here at Florida State uh, because of the abilities that he has. Um, I think Florida State will, here in the near future, 
have quite a few guys verbally commit to Florida State. Not necessarily just wide receiver, but I think you pick up one or two more um, over the next couple of months for sure. Remember, everyone, 2024 class, this is really early. Um, so that there's, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. I'm not saying that you don't want someone to verbally commit, uh, but you have a lot of time in between now and uh, early signing period in December. So you don't want kids to get bored. And when everything's so relatively just right in your hand with the cell phones and things, um, you have to keep them entertained. You have to make sure that they want to stay here at Florida State. Um, so sometimes them verbally committing later on in the process is what I'm more of a fan of. Um, I, I more or less don't worry about recruiting so much in February. Uh, start July, August air, and that's when I really want to see us getting hot on the trail to make sure that guys are uh, understanding how bad we want them. 